Well, how's everybody doing today? It has been a beautiful week. It's been fairly warm, actually hot, somewhat humid. Uh, it's just been a really nice week. All, all week. Actually, this summer has been really hot. Uh, and been trying to save money on uh, my electricity by running my window air conditioner um, on solar and it's working for the most part unfortunately man, what? so you can't feel that you probably can't hear it but my um, ABS system is kind of messed up and I don't know if it's just because that wheel sensor over there is still not quite there, but you, can, you might be able to see. Here, I'll try to do it here. Yeah. So the traction control system, uh, oddly enough, when I have this problem, it's usually service ABS system, service stability system, service traction control system. All three of those come up all at once. Well, lately, and this is just every so often, which is kind of strange. Lately, it's just been the service traction control system. So my traction control is off. So when I go to turn off traction control, which, there you go, service traction system. Um, so lately, it's just been doing that. My ABS has been fine, everything else. But strangely, um, you know how when you put your car in drive, just start to pull away you know how you feel that um, that throbbing of the brake pedal um, that's just your ABS system kind of initiate you know testing itself for a second well I'm getting that a lot when I'm just driving and it has me concerned a little bit I'm pretty sure it's because of the signal coming from that wheel sensor I don't know if it's uh, you know, high or low or something where it's out of range and it's checking where it's at. But I still have stability control and I still have ABS. But for some reason, trash control is what's causing the problem. I did put it on my laptop. I, I did read the code and it, and it is that wheel sensor. So the same problem I've been having forever. It's that harness. That harness is just, God, that's biggest pain in the ass but I've never had the problem where my ABS works fine and my stability control works fine but my trash control is faulty or error out anyway I gotta get that looked at there's so many things I gotta do it's just it's so horrible that it's come down to this with everything that's been going on just, just no time it's, down to just time and worried about you know the future you know it's it's just stress I guess so uh, now to answer to answer a question my dad so I get asked about my dad from time to time um, he's doing great um, he's able to swallow now and he's you know he's on his road to recovery he's never gonna be where he was before but He's definitely making strides every week something new so that's you know that's good went over and saw him for Father's Day and uh, he was in good spirits um, you know like I said he he's never gonna be the way he was before but um, he is doing better making a lot of progress on his house junkyard to get a window switch uh, window control switch so that I can take it apart and show you how to fix the LEDs on the inside or actually it would be incandescence but replacing it with LEDs um, the HUD I need to get that apart um, it's really simple to get that out and a lot of people have been asking for a HUD repair video 
because the little spring, the retaining spring, it keeps the position of the mirror. Um, it's very common for that to break, so your your mirror just just flattens out basically, it just drops. Um, and so the the image actually is shooting straight up rather than towards the windshield. Um, so that's why some people say, well, my HUD doesn't work. Well, just look down on the inside, and if you can see the the LCD in there uh, projecting, then you know it's working. It's just the, the mirror itself just fell down, basically. There's no spring there to hold it in place. Uh, you know, a couple other odd things that I have to do. It just, it just comes down to time working extra hours and I got a couple side projects I'm working on which I'm happy to work on but you know it just comes down to time hopefully after the fourth the holiday which is coming up here pretty soon I'll be able to get down to some of these projects and see if I can um, get some things done um, I still have um, fender stripes that I haven't put on the car that I need to do that I know how to do it it's easy to do it once again it's just putting together the video to do it and of course if you have any requests or anything you want uh, me to take uh, do a video of please do um, you know it's kind of funny that biker just went by it just kind of reminds me of how when you're on a bicycle a non-motorized vehicle and you're on a public road where cars are at, not a sidewalk, but a public road, you don't have to obey the same traffic laws that you do if you have a car. It would seem more dangerous to ignore the rules of the road on a bike than it would be for a car. Bikes don't have airbags. You run a red light on a bike, and somebody hits you, you're dead. That's all there is to it. Your chance of survival is probably zero. Um, anyway, just thought I'd throw that in there. Cool. to report I still have some videos that I need to edit there's a there's a buddy of mine who's been messaging me about my I need I, I've done some footage on my kind of outlook on death there was a conversation we had going back and forth got a lot to share about that but I think with everything that's been happening with me lately it's kind of changed my thoughts a little bit about that as far as how I feel about it, what I think about the afterlife and things like that. So I think I'm going to re-record that. Uh, and yeah, I, I mean, I don't really know what else. I don't really know what else to, to talk about. I want to share my feelings as far as what's going on with my situation not give any detail at the same time that's the really hard part so I may I may not I don't know I don't know what's going on exactly um, so anyways it is what it is uh, so I guess that's just a quick you know a little update video for you guys oh I, I did inquire there's a really neat very expensive but a really neat um, stabilizer from a, I don't know if they're a Chinese company or whatever, but it's a motorized stabilizer that you can mount on a tripod. So what I'm going to try to do is, as you guys know, I'm always trying to get some way to stabilize my camera where I'm recording. What I'm going to try to do is try to get one to test. I'm going to see if I can send them one for me to test. I'll do a full review on it, and then if they want it back, I'll send it back. But if that's a solution to the problem, the only thing that I'm worried about is that if it's in the car and the car's moving around, yet I need to focus still clearly on what's ahead, then I don't know if that's going to somehow mess up the 
the setup because when you're just walking along yeah it's going to control you know your bumps and so on like that but if your car is moving yet the car inside you know isn't is that going to throw it off somehow so it's going to require some testing but we'll see but anyways uh hopefully i get that figured out pretty soon here so you guys have a good day and uh we'll catch you later so take care